everyone. Today we do a calibration for label transmitter. Uh, this is uh, our range 0 to 0 0.06 bar. Okay. This is uh, our power source, DC power supply, 24 volts. Okay. This power going to this isolator. Then connect to our segment protection. Then going to transmitter. Terminal block at the back. Yes. Black goes to, goes to positive and white goes to negative. And these are our probe for the 475 field communicator. Red goes to positive and black to negative side. Okay. And this our pressure calibrator, look 71830G. That's our hose going to the high side. Okay, now you can see the tag number and the node address on the right side and the HMA output bar and the PV input value is a bar and bar graph in the downside. So we need to change uh, two line to two line plus bar graph, we need to change into one line plus bar graph. Okay, display. Setting, mode, two lines plus buzzer. Edit, change into one line plus buzzer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, okay. But now we need to change the engineering unit from bar to percentage yeah. okay. display display scaling display unit then this one at the top okay, okay other invalid then more upside now make the percentage then ok then back Zero to hundred. Number two. Then also need to change the upper range value. Edit. Next. They are coming only iPhone. Minus. Minus. scaling a uh, percentage okay then we need to close this isolation bulb from the high side then equalizer will be closed also and this one should be open also isolation should be closed in the vent Open. Vent outside, uh, backside is also open. Okay. Okay. Okay.
okay now proceed to configuration with this uh, 475 hard communicator okay go to canvas application okay online Okay, this is the our label transmitter. Yes. Okay, now first go to advance. Because we need to change the detail, the tag number. Okay. So we need to change the tag number. Tag number is there. So A01 A01 LT LT23 So you need to change the address, node address. Yeah, 24. So 24. Okay. Okay. Then send. Yes. So need time to wait. Okay. Okay. Change complete. Then press OK. Then new address pending. Please wait. Okay, change complete, then press OK. Then go inside. See all the parameters is OOS, meaning out of service. So we need to change into auto from resource block, pressure, HMI diagnosis, and analog input. Okay, we need to make auto mode. Then select auto, zero tick, and then OK, yes, then close, then back, go to other parameter, pressure, mode, mode, then select auto, OK, then yes, then close. Back. We push. Okay. Okay. Now, all auto from resource block up to analog input. So we go to inside. Quick config. Okay. Linearization type indirect. This is our uh, average value, lower range value in the input input value and the output value is here so our uh, 100% and uh, 0% and uh, our uh, engineering unit is percentage ok go back and go to advance go to schedule then select analog input 1 Okay. Success. Then okay. Then. Configuration okay. Now we go to pressure. Process. to pressure and differential pressure okay pressure and differential pressure this uh, primary value value it's, uh, configuration is finished it's done so now we proceed to input value with our loop calibrator pressure calibrator
I'll say now, so, uh, in 0%, 0 bar, the output is percent, 0, 0, 0 percent. Okay, so no, no have uh, error. No need to print. Okay. 25 percentage, 0 0.015. Then check the output, 25 points, 0, okay, 50%. Oh, yeah, that helps. We have an error we need to do. Okay. As for now, we don't have an error. But if we have error, we need to do calibration. We do, we're going to calibration. Pressure differential pressure. If have error in 100%, we do high sensor training. If have error in a zero, percent. zero percentage, we go to low sensor training. But now our transmitter is good, no error, so we don't uh, doing a uh, trimming. Going to advance, then link master configuration. Then link master. Okay. Then okay. After a second. Yeah. 